This video will show uh, bringing in StormCAD data into Open Roads Designer Connect Edition into a subsurface utility model. Um, so I'm going to start in StormCAD Connect Edition um, simply just to kind of select a couple things and maybe look at the um, the properties maybe of a, a particular element so let's say um, let's select that that inlet here in the middle or the junction here in the intersection and we can take a look at the properties of that it's a manhole junction 2 J2 and um, it's pertinent information ground inverted information and, and size of structure again uh, something else you know of interest might be a catchment so we select the catchment we can see its runoff coefficient, its uh, size, and and therefore its um, its area. I mean size, and uh, that information we'll be bringing across as well. So all the information in our model, including our um, our different alternatives and scenarios and and um, prototypes that are in this model and so forth, will come across as well. So I'll go ahead and um, kind of close this and I haven't done anything so I'll say no and I'm going to open up Open Rose Designer Connect Edition I'm working in the examples a training Imperial work set I'm just going to open up a, a, a file and that file is uh, basically blank at this point um, I have referenced in a couple files to it I've referenced in a terrain model and I've referenced in a um, site plan, a 3D site plan with some uh, surface data in it as well, some proposed surface data. And so one of the benefits of subsurface utility is that I can now uh, bring in my StormCAD data and then reference it to surfaces and, and featureize it and, and perform the same hydraulic calculations. So in uh, Open Roads Designer Connect Edition, um, we have the um, subsurface utility workflow here um, so I've selected that and that gives me access to my subsurface utility tools pertinent tools that I want to use um, so you can see here um, we've got the you know import options so under model import export I've got import utilities and so I can bring in different types of uh, utility data including the Haystead so I'll select the Haystead submodel. It's going to go ahead and create a seed file, I mean a hydraulic uh, model in my DGN. So go ahead and do that. And then next I'll import that uh, StormCAD database in here. Alright, so I'm going to select my um, that file that we were just looking at. There's the SQLite, so you can see here you know, the different files that it's searching for. So I'll select that and bring it in. It's going to import again all the scenarios, all the catch basins, manholes, pipes, the, the gutters, you name it. It's going to bring it in. You can see it found um, the different gutters and the pipes. And it's created it in uh, 2D and in 3D. So if I were to, um, for example, take a look at one of the, the catch basins, or we can take a look at that same junction here. Here it is, and in, in I can look at its properties and I can see the same basic information that's the subsurface utility engineering data and then the hydraulic this here's the same information that we looked at before and if I were to look at um, a catchment for example let's say like this catchment here 
I can see its area, its runoff method all came in as well.